what's going on already My name is Misa And my name is Mia Also known as Eminem And you are listening to the number one teen and young adult radio show In the nation for inspiration And we are going in Going in As always here in the studio Thanks so much for tuning in That was 1K Few with Already Uh huh <laughs> It's a brand new day You made it already Uh huh You better sing Few you Ain't nobody songs. touching Few Ain't nobody from Eastside can sing like Few You know what I'm saying You know what I'm saying he Skates on the the beat every single time all the time every single time i heard if you got some new stuff coming out what soon. you mean i mean I, I just heard that he said that that we've been waiting long enough and he had tag reach records and he was like the people have been waiting long enough and i'm on behalf of the people i say we have no you're absolutely right you know? okay you're absolutely right we have been waiting we've been very very patient few so don't make us wait no longer and plus 2020 I- was tough I- and we need <laughs> something that could pick us up for 2021 not to mention i'm very very proud of you because he has been in his directing bag. yes yo he three movies within three months last year love that and it was so dope being able to see him just be so in his bag with that i just love the fact that he was in a whole nother element when it comes to that huge shout out to 1k if you, if you haven't seen the, any of those projects i think they're on his youtube channel be yeah. sure to go check those out and go support few i hope he does some more this year honestly. i hope so too Definitely hope uh, he does some more with that. But listen, guys, we got a lot of great things popping up this week here on Eminem Live Radio. And one of those things is a great conversation that's all centered around this right here. What is your word for 2021? That starts with the first letter of your name. Now, listen, we got a lot of comments and responses. Shout out to everybody that commented. We appreciate you guys. If you guys still want to go ahead and comment, hit us up on Instagram at MM Live Radio, Facebook at Eminem Live Radio, and Twitter at M and M Live Radio. Now, really quick here are some of our favorite comments we got over on instagram on ig shout out to famendez our friends at famendez mm-hmm. they say mm-hmm. legend lol love that miles dot he says miracles i'm digging it i see right? miles now justina j says joy all right that's her her word for 2021 the awkward mom stage shout out to you our friends there this person says manifest also our good friend official mike teasy mike teasy he says manifestation oh that's a good one listen guys it's all centered around this just to remind you what is your word for 2021 that starts with the first letter of your name Shout out to our girl E. Aaron, the Aaron Effect. She says exciting. And I mm-hmm. think we have another one here on Instagram right here, right now. Let me see. We got a couple of them right here. I'm going to read them real quick. Uh, shout out to at HMC double or triple O. This person says healthy, mentally and physically. Yes. I appreciate that. We have one more right here. And this person gave us a, a, a phrase. Okay. Give us a phrase for 2021. This person is Court, uh, C-O underscore R-T on Instagram. Shout out to you. This person says, continue to move forward. Yes, love that right there. So many great responses. Shout out to everybody that commented and tapped into this week's conversation. If you guys still want to go ahead and tap in, you can go ahead and do so. Hit us up on Instagram and Twitter at MM Live Radio. Facebook too, if you got it, at MM Live Radio. Now listen, due to the sake of time, that is all the comments we're going to read, but we appreciate everybody joining in on this week's conversation now of course you guys already know you got to get your girls opinions on the conversation so misa what is your word for 2021 that starts with the first letter of your name mine is magnify really yeah okay why do you say that mine is <laughs> i feel like you have the same word we do have the same word are you kidding me are you kidding me i, I literally i literally googled positive words that start with the letter M. Because I'm like, I know Misa's going to say something like manifest or like something no, like that. And I was like, year. magnify. I was like, boom. That's it. Are you serious? <laughs> yes, yo. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, serious. My Are you serious? Yeah, okay. So go ahead and say why magnify is yours. That is so crazy. Okay. Out of all the words in the English language, we thought about the same word. That's crazy. <laughs> same, bro. So my word is magnify. Um, It kind of has like a, a, a double meaning. Uh, The first one is, you know, with a magnifying glass, you will use it to make, you know, the things that are already there so much larger. Yes. And I, I want to do that because... Even though 2020 was a crazy year, a lot of great things came out of 2020. Not only for me, but my family also. And I want for that to like just double in size when it comes to 2021. But also when it comes to magnifying glasses, you kind of are you have the opportunity of using that that device to look 
look look up small things or, or like make small things larger than what they are supposed to be so you can have a better clear understanding of what you're looking at and I, I know that there are certain things in my life that have been overlooked that have not gotten my full attention and I want to use the word magnify to bring that into manifestation if yeah. you will so so that's my uh, my word for 2021 okay well I have the same word that for 2021 is isn't that like that's insane the reason why magnify stood out to me was because what uh someone i talked to uh said something that i thought was so powerful they said what you focus on magnifies mm. and so i thought about how like you know i'm not gonna lie this past week has just been like uh uh she's just like mind-boggling just for me just mentally just because we have having so much going on i know on m&m's in and i was just thinking about like you know all the things we got to get done, what it's going to take to get done, how is it going to get done? Like, you know, just like the whole, like that whole shoulda, coulda, what, like, you know, all those different questions I have in my head. And hearing, um, her name was Tierra. shout out to Tierra. she who said that to, that what you focus on magnifies, meaning like if you focus on all, like, you know, the doubts, your worries, your anxieties and things like that, it's going to magnify mm -hmm. inside of you. It's going to mess with your brain. That's going to be all you think about. Right. But if you focus on like, you know, the, the positive about like, you know, okay, we're going to get it done something i have to worry about like you know like god's got me that's gonna magnify in you overall i, I solely want to magnify on things that are going to help uplift me and not keep me stressed and overwhelmed this entire year mm, i love that I love honestly that. I, I think it's so important to have i, I know everyone kind of does this the whole what is your word or whatever because i feel like it's important to stand on something to have some expectation for your year you know what i'm saying so yeah. therefore you kind of be uh, goal oriented when it comes to it you know whether it's like you know the beginning of the year or you need it as a reminder or even when you end 2021 you're going into 2022 you know, know what you were thinking what you were spearheading for that year right no absolutely I, I totally agree with you and to me honestly I think that you know you need to write this word down um, somewhere where you can see it mm -hmm. you know even, even if you have to write it on post-it notes and put it every single where that you are during the day and throughout the day like put it somewhere in your car put it somewhere in your bathroom where you can see it like when you look in the mirror put it in the refrigerator when you're about to get your favorite drink put it somewhere because I mean honestly you're gonna need those little little reminders here and there throughout the year when great things are going great and when things are going not so great you need to be reminded that this is your this is the word that you stood on at the beginning in January 2021 so that you're able to get through the Septembers and get through the Decembers and get through the the hard Mays or the difficult summers you know what I'm saying yeah you have to at least have something to stand on but I wanted to ask you this because I know that sometimes, you know, churches have their words that, that, that they want the congregation to stand on. Yeah. And I know how some people have their own personal words that they want to stand on for 2020 or they have like something for the couple. Do you agree that it should be, should you only have one word for the year or should you have like a, a word for your marriage and a word for your business and a word for that the church stands on? Hey Amen. I feel like, honestly, not thinking about it, I think you should... I, I think that's fine. Okay. Just because I, I feel like it's good. I know with, you know, member TC Nation, Transformation Church, shout out, gang, gang. I was, I was recently hearing about uh, the value of vision. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? How important it is to have that. I think if you want to have a word for your marriage, that's great. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I think I'd rather you have a word for your marriage and a word for your relationships and a word for your 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 mental state and all that opposed to you having nothing at all, which mm -hmm. a lot of people are, I mean, which some people are doing, you know, this year. So I think that's great. I love how you said how it's important for you to have that, you know, that word somewhere where you can see it because when you have those moments where you're thinking to yourself, okay, am I exercising this word right now? Or what can I do to make sure that I'm pushing that word right. forth this year? You know what I'm saying? Like, like right. even when you're, 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 you're feeling good, you can look back at that and be like, okay, great. I'm, I'm in that. I'm in the zone. Even when you're not, you like, you always have a reference point. So I think that's very, very great and very key. Listen, shout out to everybody that's tuned into your girls right now. Make sure you guys are writing down what your word is, whether it starts with your first name, your last name, your middle name, whatever it is, man. Listen, make sure you guys have a word that you can stand on and be encouraged for all 2021 we want that for you and we want you to look back over this year and be able to see that this year was actually everything that you manifested for it to be absolutely absolutely and thank you guys so much for tuning in so you already know it's eminem live radio but i gotta show some love to this dude right here okay because i feel like he dropped something at the last little minute of 2020 mm -hmm. to carry us safely to 2021 and i could not be more proud shout out to 1k p son listen we gotta show the 1k femo some love so here's 1k p son with kawasaki keep it locked right here don't go anywhere 
anywhere you're listening to. You already know. It's Eminem Live Radio. Don't go anywhere. In the pool, like in my ordination. 